So today we're going to take a quick look at uh, MIPS debugging with GDB. Uh, we had a reader who's an embedded Linux developer. Um, hats off to him. That sounds like a difficult, uh, difficult job to be in. But uh, he said he has uh, no issues running programs with GDB and debugging them, but when he tries to attach to them, like if they're already running on a uh, native MIPS system, uh, he can't break into it with GDB by just attaching to the process. So I just wanted to show how I do that real quick. Um, yeah, so let's do that. So here we are on Kali. Um, this isn't a native MIPS machine, but I have a native Debian MIPS image running in Kimu. So the system is MIPS. So you name a, so there you are, we're in Linux, Debian, MIPS, Little Indian. And then over here on this other tab, uh, it's the same thing, except I'm just ssh into to that image. All right. So <clears throat> we have an example program called MIPS test, and all it does is print out the current process ID and the parent process ID, and then it forks and goes through some loops, printing out, again, the process ID and the parent process ID to show you which uh, process you're currently in. So what I'm going to do is run that, and I'll have about 10 seconds to attach to it before it exits out of both of those uh, the parent and child process. So I'm just going to get this ready over here on this other tab. It's going to be GDB multi-arch, multi, and then the name of the program, so MIPS test. And then the last argument is going to be the process ID, but we don't have that yet because it's not running. So we're going to go ahead and run MIPS test. And then the first thing that spits out on the command line should be the process ID. And that's just because that's what was programmed into the program to spit out. Um, so here we go. So 2813, 2813, there we go. If we come back to the tab here, you'll see that 2816, 2813, 2813, and now only 2816 is going. So 2816 was the child process, and 2816 exited. But you'll notice that 20, or, uh, 2813 never did, and 2813 was the original process. And 2813 is the one that we broke into. So now over here in uh, GDB multi-arch, if we do a layout ASM and a backtrace, you'll see that we're in nano sleep, which Pretty typical, I mean, the program was spitting something out to the uh, terminal and then sleeping and just kept doing that in a while loop until it exited. So to get back to main, what we can do is a finish. Now we're back in sleep, so one more finish. And now we're back in main. And here we see that's the sleep that we were in, and now we're out of the sleep and back to the main program. So now we can step till our heart's content. And if we quit out of this, come over here, we'll see that 2813 is has now resumed. And it should exit momentarily. And there you go. Now it exited. So that's how I attach um, again using GDB multi arch, not GDB normal. Um, GDB normal as far as I know it does not support MIPS or other architectures. You have to use GDB multi-arch. And when you do use GDB multi-arch, if you're going to attach to a process, you have to give it the process name and the uh, process ID, as far as I'm aware. That, that's what's always worked for me. Um, yeah, so if you all have any questions about this video or any of our other videos, hit us up at ringzerolabs.com, and we'd be happy to answer any questions you have.